Well, we just had our first weekend since Governor Doug Ducey lifted our state's stay at home order. I sat down with former Governor Dan Brewer to talk about how Arizona is doing in the face of this pandemic. Just one day into Arizona allowing restaurants to reopen and diners wasted no time at Casa in Tempe. Side by side, no social distancing here and no citations either. A congestion of all the people together was very, very disrespectful and I think it was absolutely wrong. Former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer wasn't happy with what she saw either. You see behavior like that and then the most of us, the majority of us, are staying home, we're washing our hands, we're sterilizing until we're raw, and we're doing all the right things. And even with all those extra safety measures, Arizona is still seeing hundreds of new coronavirus cases every day. We saw protesters demanding that Governor Doug Ducey reopen the state sooner. While others worry it's all coming too quickly. So we took that question to the former governor who describes it as a balancing act. Do you think the state is moving too fast to reopen? He feels comfortable in doing that. And he is our executive officer. He has that responsibility. You don't take that lightly. So I think that they're trying to be very diligent in the, in the decisions that they make. And then there's the debate over masks in Arizona. It's not a statewide requirement to wear one in public. Brewer says... It's a tough call when it comes to forcing people to wear one. But for her personally, she says she doesn't leave home without it. I've got friends that won't wear them. So what do you say to them? I tell them, you know, it's bad that you're so selfish that you just care about what you think is right and what you want to do and, and, and move about. But I said, you know, you should wear it for your friends. You should wear it for your family. You should wear it for your neighbors. But there's another side to this pandemic, the economic turmoil that so many Arizonans are trying to navigate. They're scared to death and they don't know when it's going to end. And help isn't coming fast enough. Whether it's people having a hard time getting through, not getting the right amount of money, or getting denied altogether. The Department of Economic Security is dealing with an explosion of new claims. But Brewer doesn't blame the agency. I don't know how they could do it any better than what they're doing. Instead, she says the computers and technology in place simply can't handle the surge. And so we would do a little here, a little there, but we never did the whole thing. We needed a really odd overhaul, a big overhaul. We're, you know, we're, we're behind in our IT, big time. And Governor Brewer says that's not just for DES, but it's for all state agencies that she thinks are behind when it comes to IT. And it's something we will continue to look into for you. Now, I want to point out we have also reached out to the head of DES for an interview, but so far have not heard back. All right, Nick, thank you for that. I really appreciate that story. This morning